If you missed the last video, I took a trip over to a place called Akultsuke and walked around a medieval castle. There were so many different twists and turns and places to explore. Even though I was there for a long time, I'm pretty sure I didn't see everything. I also walked around a market in a place called Kutaisi, just to get a feel for how many Georgian people do their shopping every day. Now it's time to leave this country and go to Taiwan. This video starts from underneath my blankets while I'm in bed. So good morning. It's like 6.30 a.m. I just woke up. I have to go to breakfast, get on the bus, go to the airport, and fly to Taiwan. So the crazy part is, this would be my second attempt. The first attempt, my plane was delayed and then delayed four more times and then finally canceled. So the good news is that Turkish Airlines put me in a hotel for two nights. Welcome. Welcome to my final two nights in Batumi, Georgia, trying to go to Taiwan. Unfortunately, today was supposed to be my last day, but my flight was canceled. It was at the airport for like almost 10 hours and it was canceled, so it was a nightmare. They gave me a hotel for two nights and transportation and food and like everything is covered. So now, I suppose let's walk through and see what this place looks like. We'll start with the bathroom and the shower. And this is it. Oh wow, I got a nice view too. The bed is not bad. That's a pretty nice view, not gonna lie. This may make up for the incredible frustration. I guess right now marks the start of my, the second start of my journey to Taiwan. So while stuck in a hotel for two days, I decided to explore a little bit and see what this place had to offer. Shit. It is really, really hot in here. Wow. After my second night was finished, it was time to get up early and go to the airport once again. I was really hoping that there weren't any more problems or delays so I could get on with my journey to Taiwan. The good news is I finally got on my flight. They were about 35 minutes late or 40 minutes late, something like that. And now I'm in Istanbul. This airport is huge, by the way. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. No, I've never been here before. This is the first time for me. So, yeah. So now it's about two o'clock in the afternoon. I have to wait here for like 11 hours. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Drink a lot of coffee, a lot of tea, work on my laptop, and uh, I don't know, eat a lot of food. But how do I get over there? I can't show you very easily. There's a food court, but I thought you had to go up here to go around, but apparently not. Wow, so this is the first time that I've had US dollars in my hand for, I don't know, how many years. Crazy, and if I wanna go work out, I guess I can work out, that's weird. Anyway, so they said that I can go buy coffee down here. Ah, like here, buy coffee and sit and hang out for a while. I'm probably gonna spend all of this money on one cup of coffee, it's crazy. And you only get one hour of internet here, so after one hour of internet, free internet, then you have to pay for the 24-hour internet, just to have internet at an airport. Oh my god. So I just bought a sandwich. This right here is 13 US dollars. 13 dollars for a sandwich that's soggy. It was the cheapest thing that I could find, to be honest. There were other places that I could go to, but the restaurants were like double this price or triple this price. So anyway, I'm going to sit here for a while, charge my phone, work on my computer, and start editing. 
due to my 11 hour layover, I got extremely bored and took a walk from one side of the airport to the other. This place was absolutely huge. While I was walking, I noticed a man that was serving tea to random people as they walked by. Apparently this was due to the celebration of Ramadan. So it's about 10 o'clock p.m. And when I still look at the board, my flight is not there. My flight should be here. This is all organized by time, but nothing. <laughs> they have flights there for 7 a.m., but mine is supposed to be at 12.30. So, I don't know. I talked to a lady and she said, yeah, you just have to wait because they just don't know yet. So I finally found the gate. It just changed. It's after midnight. I'm really tired. I'm going to B4. And it turns out my flight will be about one hour late. <laughs> The flight from Istanbul to Taiwan went according to plan. I arrived during sunset, which really played tricks on my brain. This made me even more tired than I already was. Basically, I went through two sunsets in less than 24 hours. And here it is. Amazing. I made it through customs. Everything's good to go. Now I have to figure out a way to get from here to my hotel. It's like the pandemic is happening all over again. Oh my God, I have to wear a mask to go on a train. It's so crazy. Anyway, it's really helpful. Everybody speaks English here, so there's no problems. I think I'm supposed to get on one of these trains. It might be this one. Oh my God. So that was about an hour to get here. It's dark outside. I know where my hotel is. I have to walk very far in the dark. I'm probably just gonna go to a nearby hotel for the night and then change hotels in the morning. I came in here looking for food. This is definitely not what I expected. I'm gonna find a, a place to eat maybe, I guess. It's, uh, it's about nine o'clock. It's been a long ass couple of days. So hopefully I can find something to get back and go to bed soon. I don't know where I'm at. Like, what is this? I'm just gonna eat some, I have no idea. A family mart? So I went to a burger place. This was the only thing that they had, like a rice burger with seafood. So I've been outside in the dark for 20 minutes. I'm shocked how many homeless people are here, both inside and right on the outside. They don't seem to be begging anyone for anything. I guess it just surprised me. I did not expect that many people. Looks like they have these public bikes that you can probably download an app and pay to use. That might be something that I'll use quite a bit this summer. So this is where I live. I picked this hotel tonight. I had no idea that it was a hostel. Basically, I'm paying $35 a night. And I, I went to check into my room and I thought I entered the wrong room because it was a hostel. Nope, turns out that $35 US dollars a night gets you a single bed in a room full of like eight or 10 other people. So, whoa, this place is so much more expensive than I anticipated. Anyway, I'm only staying here for the night because uh, my hotel that I paid for already, like way over there, it's just too far for me to walk. I just don't want to walk. So anyway, I went to go get something to eat, came back, going to go to sleep, wake up in the morning, go to my new hotel, and then my journey will begin. It was a short little video. That was my journey from getting to Georgia to Taiwan. It was a rough start, but I got here eventually. Anyway, that's it. I'm gonna go to bed. Thank you all for watching. Remember, your time is running out. Start living. Take care.